and so badly. Hello everybody, my name is Carrie and today I'm doing my December TBR. I... TBRs are sort of a mixed bag for me this year. Mostly leaning in the not completed, even remotely. We'll see how November ends up. But uh, for December, I have apparently decided just to, I don't know, make myself crazy or something. Because I have... Nine books that I want to read this month, at least. And those are just the ones I could find easily. And by easily, I mean at a glance. Because I can find the rest of them if I want to. But anyway, let's start with the one that I didn't want to take off the shelf. And that is Warstorm. That one. By Victoria Aveyard. That's her name. It's been a long day. Um, <laughs> Warstorm by Victoria Aveyard. I want to read this just to get the series done. It is the fourth and final book in the Red Queen series, which follows our main character, Mare. And she goes through politics, and there's people with two different types of blood. Silvers, which are supposed to be elite, and the only ones who have magical powers, and then Red, which is what Mare is supposed to be, and they're not supposed to have any sort of powers. Turns out she's Red and she has powers. Surprise! And we kind of blow the world up from there. There's war, and there's some weird sort of romances going on in there. It's been a while since I've read any of them, but I remember enough that I'm just going to dive into the fourth one at some point, theoretically, this month. Next we have Alamo All-Stars by Nathan Hale. This is a graphic novel about the Battle of the Alamo. I don't recall whether it was in the Mexican-American War or, as I have been told, the, uh, the other one. Not the Spanish-American War, the Texas Revolution. There we go. But... Um, that's part of the reason I want to read it, is because I don't know when it was. I just know that they lost, at least last time I checked. I could be wrong. We didn't really learn all that much about the Alamo in my school. It was more of, oh, look, the Alamo, it ended badly, moving on, sort of a thing. It's more of a legend than anything else. But, all that aside, I would like to read that, read this, this month, so that I can figure out what it is, and also I just really enjoy these books. Next, because December is the last month of the year, and for that matter, the decade, I'm trying to get through several series, which includes Rebel Born and Traitor Born, except other way, Traitor and Rebel, second and third, by Amy Bartol. I read the first one when I was studying for the bar last summer because I didn't really have the energy to do anything terribly mind-requiring, which I know is not a phrase, but it is now. But I needed a new book, so I went with a YA. It sounded good. Uh, in the first one, Second Born, we learn that our main character is the second born of one of the very powerful politicos in the world. And because she's second born, she goes into the army. First borns inherit, second borns go into the army, and if you have any more than that, they're basically killed. But our main character, whose name I don't recall, Roselle St. Sismode, we're gonna go with that pronunciation, she gets caught up in things bigger than her and decides she doesn't really want to do or be exactly what she's supposed to do or be. And so things go south from there. The first one was disappointing, I have to say. I think I gave it a 3 out of 5. It started picking up and it had more potential towards the end of the book, the last third maybe, but I'm hoping these two get better. I'm hoping that I like them. But I did want to finish the series because it's only a trilogy. Next we have The Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan. This is book four. Trial of Apollo is the name of the series. I told you, long day. We have The Tyrant's Tomb by Rick Riordan. There we go. Which is book four in the Apollo series where Apollo is cast down to Earth as a human by his whatever Zeus is. I assume father because Zeus is a father to everybody. He can't keep it in his pants. But... Things go wrong and there are some evil Roman emperors involved and Apollo has to save the day with the help of other demigods that we've already met and some new characters such as Meg. I enjoy this series, it's not my favorite of his, but I do want to finish it because it's been out for two months now, almost three, so it's time. Next we have a book that I'm reading predominantly so that one of my coworkers can't read it before I do and then if he reads it soonish we can discuss it because that's what we do. And that is Lord Mansfield, Justice in the Age of Reason by Norman Poser. This is a nonfiction about Lord Mansfield. He's the one who made the decision 
Oh, not the Amistad, that's the wrong country. The Zong. There we go, the Zong. Uh, which was a slave ship that claimed they were running out of water and that's why they threw, I think it was a third to half of the slaves overboard on their way to the colonies and turns out there were at least three ports that they could have stopped to get water if they were really running out and Lord Mansfield decided that they could have stopped, they should have stopped if they were running out, they didn't get to throw slaves overboard. He did not decide on whether slavery was legal or not, he simply said that the owners of the ship could not collect insurance on the people they threw overboard. Still not a great decision, but it was the start. Anyway, this man had a long and storied legal career, and I'm very curious to see more about the man who sort of started the process of abolishing slavery. I did mention I wanted to complete some series, and the last one, the last series rather, is Five Dark Fates by Kendar Blake. I keep forgetting about this book, honestly. It's not a series that I really enjoy, so at this point I just want to read this one, crank it out in a weekend maybe, and get it over with. I do remember it getting better at the end of the third one? Third one but it's still, I don't know, it's one of those where, yeah, it's interesting, it's not gonna become my favorite, but I do want to finish it because I'm committed now, three books in, and this is the end. So, we'll get there. In this series, there are three princesses who are queens who have to kill each other to become the one and true queen or whatever. They are sisters, one of them is a poisoner, one of them is a naturalist, and one of them is a something else. Elementalist? That sounds right. But things don't go quite to plan because they never do. And we end up in a bit of a war, which is where this book kind of starts off. I'm in Like I said, I'm interested to see where it ends, but it's not a book that I'm racing to pick up. However, I am going to try and get this done in the earlier in the month so that I can get onto books I want to read a little bit more. Lastly, we have two books that I want to read because they have movies coming out somewhat soon, I believe, and the first one is Emma by Jane Austen. I don't know when this movie comes out, but I saw a trailer for it when I went to see Frozen 2. So I assume it comes out sometime in the next six months, and I would like to read it sooner rather than later. I have no idea what Emma's about. I assume it's about a woman who... Uh, well, let's see. Alright, Emma traverses a gentle satire of provincial balls and drawing rooms, encountering Harriet Smith, Miss Bates, and her absurd father, Mr. Woodhouse. Thinking herself impervious to romance of any kind, Emma tries to arrange a wealthy marriage for Harriet, but refuses to recognize her own feelings for the gallant Mr. Knightley. Yeah. So it's a comedic romance, I guess. Either way, I enjoyed Pride and Prejudice when I finally read that, so I'm hoping this will be just as good. And then the last book is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I have never read this. I have never seen any adaptation of this. I do want to read it because there is a movie coming out around Christmas with Emma Watson and Saoirse Ronan. God, I hope I pronounced that right. And it looks interesting. Also, I just love Emma Watson, so, I mean, duh. But I know that there are four sisters in this one, and they all have to sort of come to grips with being their own women and also being present in 1800s society. So I'm very curious and excited to finally get to this book. Those are the, what did I say, eight books? Nine books? One of those numbers that I would like to read in December. Fingers crossed it actually happens because there's also Christmas and travel, which means my Kindle rather than a physical book. So whatever I end up reading on my Kindle will hopefully also get done within the month. But that's all I've got. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!